What's going on, y'all? So JT here with an unboxing of the Arma Sentin 6S BLX. So I've had the version 1 and version 2, and I just kind of hesitated on the version 3. I love this body style, and I just had, I hadn't gotten around to getting it or anything, but I went ahead and pulled the trigger and went ahead and got this. So um, I'm not going to spend too much time on this unboxing, but you guys know I got to do one thing as I open this box up. The smell of a new RC car. <laughs> you guys know I love to do that. So um, give me just a minute. And this looks really, 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 really good. I really love the look of this. Uh, give me just a minute and I'm going to get this completely out the box and we'll take a closer look at it. All right, guys. So getting this completely out the box. I'm not doing a lot of uh, ravaging and stuff around getting this out. So this, in my opinion, is probably one of the best looking short course trucks out there. I know. Um, before in the past, I wasn't too much of a short course truck guy, but I've, I've grown to like them more. So I think Arma did an excellent job on the design of this body and the paint scheme of this body. I really do. Um, just looking at it from the front, um, from the side, um, just the way they just constructed this, it really kind of stands out from the back and stuff as well. They did a really good job on the spoiler and stuff on it as well. So um, this kit is one of the last Arma cars to also come with the XT, I'm sorry, not the, uh, well, the XT90 connectors, but also the tactic radio. These are not coming in any of the other armor cars as well. So this is, of course, a version three. And you guys know that some of the newer armor cars are coming with the STX2 radio. So it's good they include a tactic radio and stuff with it. Um, looking at the bag of goodies, you do get XT90 connectors. So you get some installed inside the car, which I'll show you in just a second, but you also get some in the bag as well. You get some tools, speed gear, et cetera, et cetera. So I can't remember right off bat what gear comes inside this car, but um, they do give you a speed gear as well. So getting back to the car, they still do keep the design, of course, with the body pins being on the outside of it, which is good um, with that. Taking these off real quick. Body's constructing this real thick and stuff. So um, looking at the inside of this, this may look familiar, um, kind of how armor designs are cars. This design similar to the Typhon a little bit, um, but it does kind of have a crate and kind of touch with it with um, this on top of it and stuff. This helps protect your body and stuff when you flip over. I'm actually going to take this off, guys, when I run it because it does create um, it to be a little top heavy. So it does flip a little bit and I will be lowering it down just a bit. Not a lot, but. Knowing um, how these run in the past, I am going to make some minor adjustments on my first run. So I'll let you guys know about that. But as I mentioned before, this does come with, as you see there, the XT90 connectors, the BLX185 speed controller, which is coming in all the Arma um, 8 scale cars and a few of their uh, 7 scale cars, too. And then also the 2050 KV motor. I can't recall right off the bat um, which pinion gear is in here, but you guys see. It is pretty small. It's probably about a 14 or 15 or something like that. So I'll probably be gearing this up just a little bit. And I got a little oil right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hope that uh diff or anything is not leaking. Um, so we'll have to check that out after I do my first run or something to make sure that, yeah, you guys see that? that's a lot of oil right there. I hope my center diff isn't leaking. So we'll check that out after our first run as well. So this has been updated with what they were doing with some of their... Um, Version threes, but not so much of the version fours that I can recall. I don't think they did a lot of updates to this. Of course, it doesn't have the chassis brace and stuff on it, but it does have the adjustable battery tray, which you guys um, can see there with that. Um, it does come with uh, big bore shocks. These are threaded aluminum, of course, which is good. And it comes with a uh, beefy bumper and stuff on it as well. So it's pretty tough and it's pretty durable. And I'm, I'm seeing oil like... I see a little bit of oil and stuff there. So um, I'm hoping you guys see that. I'm hoping that this center diff is not leaking or shock is not leaking. Um, but we'll check that out. Look at it a little bit more after I um, finish this video to give you guys a report on that. So um, suspicion setup is really, really nice for this. Um, like I said, I will be lowering it down just a little bit because um, I know how these cars handle. Like I said, I'm going to take this top part off as well. So that um, I'm not flipping over as much because I really don't want to damage that body a lot. But I will be doing runs against this and my 3S Sentin and then also my um, 7 scale Mojave as well. So that'll be 
pretty interesting to kind of get all three of these out and um, get a running video of them as well. So pretty much all the other stuff is going to be the same as pretty much the other armor cars, except for, of course, it's got uh, the short wheelbase chassis or SWB. You guys might see that in some of their descriptions and stuff for it um, as well. And it kind of comes with the same servo. Get this over here. You guys can see that that comes in their other eight scale cars as well. So um, expect the performance to be a little bit different. It's going to drive a little bit different, of course. Get this to focus in. There we go. Um, it's going to drive a little bit different than um, some of their other eight scales as well. But what I'm going to do to lower is I'm going to work on these droop screws kind of right here. Droop screws <laughs> where my uh, index finger is pointing at. And that's going to help, you know, rise or lower the car down some. So I'm going to work with that a little bit and probably soften the shocks up just a tad bit. Don't know if I'll change the shock one because they do pretty good with their shock wall and stuff. But I'm also going to be trying the Arma Hoons on there. So I have a set of those right here and get this up a little bit close. And you guys see that those are a little bit shorter, a little bit smaller than the stock ones. Not by much, but it'll be pretty cool to get this and run this on road. It kind of slam that body down as well and do some runs with that so you guys can see how this thing performs on road, but I will have to take this off because this does create, um, from my experience in the past, it does create a little bit of extra weight on top of the um, truck and it does slip over a little bit more. I know why they did that for protection, but I'm going to be taking that off. So anyway, guys, that is a quick unboxing of this. There's tons of unboxings on this. Like I said, I had versions one and two and I went ahead and pulled a trigger and got a version three because I've been looking at it and looking at it. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger and got one to go ahead and do some running videos. So I'll be putting this against a couple other short course trucks that I have as well. So stay tuned, I guess, for a shootout kind of with those where I take them all out um, and run them all um, from the low C to the red cat to this, the Traxxas and all that. Just so you guys can see the difference in performance between something like this that can handle and run 6S and then some of the others that can only run 3S as well. So anyway, if you got one, put your comments down below what you've done to it. Some of the ins and outs of it, I kind of know how this thing is going to perform out the box, but I kind of like to know what you guys have done as well. And I, I keep looking at this oil, y'all. <laughs> it's kind of bothering me. It's just annoying, but I'm going to see what that is real quick as well. It's probably the center diff, um, but we'll see. But anyway, um, put your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.